All right, anyway, moving on. Moving on past Mia Yim and Zelina against Oscar and Carrie Sane. We're moving on past that. Because now we came to the Bloodline locker room where there was Jimmy and Solo. And Jimmy's talking to Solo because Paul and Roman are in conference. They've been talking for a, a long time now, longer than usual. And Jimmy asked Solo, hey, if something was going to happen to me, you'd tell me, right? And Solo says, I'm your brother. Well, so is Jay over on the other show. And they're, you know, so Jimmy did not appear to be too comforted by all of that. And then we get to our main event. That is really the, that's the show. That's the fucking show. And we're time for our main event. And I, it's, it's Orton and Solo, by the way. And the entrances only took four minutes because Orton attacked at the bell. And I'm thinking, well, all right, we're going to actually get to it here. And they fought for like 20 seconds and Jimmy Uso bailed out to the floor. And without even pitching, they just faded a fucking break in 30, in less than 30 seconds of this match. I said, like, what the fuck? It, 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 is, it, is it just me or is it hard to get involved, invested, interested? Just get in. Wouldn't they just, you, yeah. No, I've learned that unless there's an angle, unless there's like a main event, well, not a main event, but unless there's a promo that's being billed as being after the main event, I usually don't watch the main event for SmackDown. There's no it, point to it. It's just going to be a bunch of commercials and then it ends three minutes before the top of the hour. Well, that's the thing. They, they started the entrances at 9.33 p.m. Eastern, right? And by the time that the entrances took the four minutes and then boom, and we went to break in 30 seconds and we come back and Orton is beating Uso or... Um, did I say Orton and Solo? You Uso. said Orton and Solo. Well, it's Orton and fucking Uso. Uma Oprah. Oh, God, don't do that. <laughs> All right. It, it, <laughs> well, there's so many O's. There's Orton, there's Solo, there's Uso, there's O, 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 but it, it's Orton and fucking Uso is what it is. And or Orton beats Uso up, and everything that Orton does looks good, and he's a smart worker. And then after a couple minutes, Uso takes over and gets some heat, and after they've gone four minutes since they came back from the break, they go to another break. And finally, they come back. Orton makes his comeback, hits the DDT, milks the RKO, and then Solo's music plays. After Aro milks the RKO on Uso, here comes Solo. And that distracts Orton, but instantly LA Knight comes out and tackles Solo and beats him up in the entranceway, and Orton hits the RKO on Uso. Unos Dos Trio. And he wins the match. And then here comes Roman out. And he, and by the way, now we've still got, we got like six or seven minutes on the air. They end a minute beforehand every time on Fox. So the match, literally, there was maybe five minutes of this match shown on television, but then the afterbirth on the angle. Roman comes out, levels L.A. Knight, and just with a shot to the back of the head, and L.A. Knight crumbles, and then Roman gets in the ring and has a face-off with Orton, and L.A. Knight, it just disappeared like he got, <laughs> he got bonked on the head, and suddenly he's fucking, he's comatose. They've carried him out somewhere. We can't find him. And then while they have their face-off, they get in a fight, do Roman and Orton. And then Uso stops Orton and they get heat on Orton, but then suddenly LA's back fresh as a daisy and gets in, but Solo stops him and they get heat on the baby faces. And then they play more music. <laughs> and suddenly from the back of the ring, nobody saw him coming. Here's AJ Styles looking like 1989 Lex Luger. 
have you ever seen AJ Styles look so muscular in your in your life and all your born put togethers, Brian? I have never seen him look like that, and it appears that a lot of guys are returning to WWE with more size than they had when they left. In peak physical condition. Well, he does the flying phenomenal forearm on Roman and makes a big comeback on the heels and clears the ring out. And so there's the heels in the entranceway yelling and the baby faces are in the ring yelling, but AJ's standing there looking. And then he spins LA Knight around and clotheslines the fuck out of him. And then jumps out of the ring and walks past the bloodline to the back. Now, did what happened between L.A. Knight and A.J. Styles that we don't remember, because A.J.'s been out and back and forth, and L.A. was a male model, or do they have previous heat, or are we going to find out that this is some personal grudge they've been carrying without anyone knowing it? When L.A. first arrived in WWE, he told A.J. that he uh, thought it was commendable that A.J. was so big with the gay community, and A.J. got offended, and now they've been feuding. Ah, there you go. And again, somebody's going to take that seriously. We are parodying <laughs> We are parodying a question that A.J. Styles was famously asked on a call-in radio show or whatever, on and the L.A. Observer. Knight was not involved. Yeah, he was on The Observer Show, and a caller called him up and said that he's a big fan of A.J., and uh, the entire gay community likes it, but AJ's <laughs> response, the whole time AJ's just talking like this, hey, how you doing? The guy says, you're big with the gay community. AJ goes, the gay community? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he never realized why they all fought over him to fit him for those leather chaps when he'd go in the store. <laughs> well, we'll see what the community thinks of him now because he is twice the size as he was before. <laughs> He's back and... 50 pounds heavier. The new thick AJ Styles. And uh, and that was the, the smacketh downeth for December 15th. They is what the, that was pretty much it. You know, the AJ thing at the end, they always leave you with at least some kind of question for next week. Yes. Imagine that. Yeah, because, I mean, it has to be some kind of resolution. Why did he return? Why did he do this to LA Knight? Why did he help Roman? Why did he attack the bloodline? Well, he didn't help Roman. No, he didn't help Roman, excuse me, uh, Orton. Um, help Orton. But he, at the same time, he did not attack the bloodline after he had cleared the ring of the bloodline. But he also it's, walked, yeah, well, that's true. He walked past them and yes. they let him live. And then they looked at him like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? So like we all did. So if they don't know and we don't know, then he must be the only one that knows. 